I'm not sure if you can remember, but I am starting out, even if I mention this, I'm starting to do a smaller shop and go like every few days. So anyway, Mikado shop has come and I've got two lots of um, mints, two lots of lettuce, some chicken fillets, a Greek style yogurt, some of this. I don't know how you pronounce it. A cucumber, some flatbreads, onions, and some linguine. And this is all, um, well, most of it anyway, is to make the recipes from my Simply Cook, which I'll quickly show. If you remember on my last video, I did mention these. You do get the spices and the sauce with them, but you do have to buy everything else. So this is what I'm going to be making over the weekend. I've never made um, linguine before, so I'm just hoping that I do make that correct. And I have tailored the recipe a little bit because I don't like tomatoes or peppers. And then on this side, the uh, I've got the I didn't get lamb. Um, I got beef instead, but it should still work. And um, I have everything else I do like. I think and I've got everything else. So yeah, that's what I've got. And then what else? Uh, what I also got is ten lots of cat food. This is why I went to Ocado. I needed some cat food, so I, no, I didn't get ten lots. I got six, <laughs> six lots of cat food. You get twelve in each, so there's like seventy-two there. If my uh, six times by twelve, if my maths is right, yeah. <laughs> And then um, Midnight doesn't actually like um, drinking that much water. So I do put some um, kitten milk down for it on an evening. And she'll just have it throughout the night. And I've got 10 lots of that. So I'm going to fill it all up. Fill her um, box up now. She won't really need anything else apart from treats throughout the month. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I've... So I have actually quit coffee and I don't drink tea anyway so I might as well just sort all this out and try and put them in the cupboard above um, and then yeah it'll just give it'll just kind of free up this workspace so that I can move some of this it does need cleaning on here so I will be doing it uh, so yeah I can just like move some of this over there so it'll just free a bit of space for me um, but yeah I've done it one at all week well actually i've done eight days with no coffee and i'll explain a little bit how i did that in a minute and why i did yeah, it so i do think it looks a lot um bigger in that corner and i have kind of just tidied this up a little bit i wouldn't give it a deep deep clean but i did um when i moved all that stuff i did clean underneath it and then i'll give it a deep clean at the weekend and now I just need to move it all off here and clean up because the rest of it looks all right actually like I'm going to be making my tea in a minute and over here still looks all right and so I'm still keeping it clean and then I just need to move my wash basket from there uh, the towels just need to go into the washer and decide whether I'm going to keep them shoes throw them away I think I'll just throw them because I only really, really use them when I go outside but I do have some flip flops that I can use. So yeah, I just need to, so it's basically just this. I have moved the cat's um, midnight's food to out here. It used to be in the cupboard, but yeah, I've just put it out here now and then I just need to put that away as well. And then just move this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm um, kind of proud of that cotton. Like, I'm not like proud as in, you know, like it, I just mean like it looks so much better. Um, so yeah, I just I like it. I just think it makes it a lot um, spacious over there, and it, everything just doesn't look cramped. So yeah, I do so like. I, it. I am actually in front of my famous cupboard that I keep saying that I'm going to organise. But um, I'm going to be organising it tonight. These shoes I've never worn. Um, as you can see, they've still got the paper in them. Let me show you proper. Yeah, these shoes have never been worn. They've still got the paper in. Uh, they are a size eights, but if anybody does want them, uh, free of charge, I'm not going to charge anybody. Um, I've had them like five, six 
years or something like that. I thought I'd be able to wear them, but my feet are too uh, wide for the front. And I do have a black pair, but the black pair don't have this on. But yeah, if anybody does want them and can walk in these shoes, um, let me know and I will send them to you. If not, I'll just take them to the charity shop, so it's fine. Um, I do have some other pair of shoes in there. I do, but I have worn them before, so I'm going to keep them and I'm going to keep them as well. Although I think they might need throwing. I'm going to have to look at them. Um, Midnight's just doing whatever she wants to do. So yeah, it's not going to take too long. I always have it in my head that it's going to take longer than what it probably is. So I do put it off for quite a while. <coughs> but I probably won't film this because the only way that I can film it is by putting it out here. And then I feel like I'm, my body's in the way, so you won't be able to see anything anyway. But what I'm trying to do is have all the cleaning stuff maybe on the top. And then move down to here and have um, all my like shampoos and bubble baths and shower gels and stuff like that. These can actually go into the other room, although I do actually have a... Um, downstairs in the grey box that's in my living room, I do have some stuff in there, so he might be able to go in there as well. But if not, I do think he can go into the back bedroom, so I'll be able to move all that. Sort through that, because that is all crafting as well. That can go into the other room, so that will free up a shelf. Then I do need to see if I can find the other glass. If I can't, I think I'm just going to have to get rid of it, because I think it'll be pointless without um, I will keep the this or that game and I just need to go through that because th they're just like empty bags, uh, wash bags, makeup bags and stuff. These I've actually got all my documents in that I need to keep along with that. I think one of them's got all my work stuff in it and then the other one's just like things that I've just kept over the years. Um, that is a trivial pursuit. So I will keep that. And then this box down here is just full of scarves and it's got some lids as well. I'm kind of scared to go through this just in case the spider does come out at me. Um, I do have weights in there um, as well that I will be putting into the other room. And it's my blow dryer and then my DVDs that need moving. They can go all in there. But yeah, I'm going to get it all organised. And then I will let you, I'll show you it when, I, when I've all done. And then if I do see anything that's kind of remotely interesting that I'm thinking you might like, I will show you. Um, that is a projector and that's a massage pillow that I don't really use. So I'm going to see if my mum wants it or something. Um, it, is, it is really, really good actually and I should use it more. But the way that my sofa is, it just doesn't really sit proper. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have something to eat first and then come up and do as much as I can do on here. And yeah, I'll show you all. Yeah, I have actually quick coffee. I um, I reduce my coffee intake by just having two. I used to have like three or four a day. And then I've reduced it, I did reduce it down to two a day because I found that I was getting, when I was having more than two cups of coffee a day, I was kind of getting a little bit anxious and it was... I didn't realise until I think one day when I was like filming a video or I was cleaning or something. I can't remember fully what I was doing, but it was something along them lines anyway. And I was getting like all jittery, you know, like as if like nerves and everything else like that. And I didn't know what caused it at first. And then I was like, oh, you know, where you think back of what you've had. And then I was like, it's the coffee. So I reduced it to two cups a day, one first thing in the morning, either before I went to work or when I went to work. And then one when I got home. And then I didn't drink milk or anything like that, but I did have the coffee mate. But once I finished that, because that's like £5.16, and I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can, because I'm wanting to pass my driving test, and I'm wanting to go on holiday next year. So yeah, I'm trying to cut down on as much things as I possibly can and coffee is quite expensive at the moment and so is the coffee coffee mate that I have and yeah so I thought to myself you know what after this coffee mate is done I'm just going to quit coffee which was last Wednesday and we're now on Thursday so I've done like eight days without it the first 
two three days i did actually get an headache and i was like why have i gotten it the first day i was like why have i got an headache and then it dawned on me it's like a caffeine headache which is perfectly fine you know like i knew that i was gonna get them and i did feel a lot more sleep last week and which was you know like it, it happens it's the symptoms of caffeine getting out if you want to but I do feel a lot more happier, I think, I want to say, and a lot more energised by not having coffee. So, yeah, I'm just on a juice at the moment. And um, it's either Robin's, it's not Robinson's, it's just like some cheap juice from, um, I think it's called Juicy. I don't know if it's cheap or not. I can't remember how much I pay for it, but it's like two litres that I get. And I get it in blackcurrant and orange, so I'm actually drinking the orange at the moment i did fill my water bottle up at work so i don't usually take it but i did this morning because i didn't really want to waste it from last night so yeah i just took that and uh, drunk it on my way to work and in work and then i refilled it again with robinson's juice when i was at work so yeah i'm having that at the minute but um i do have some orange juice yeah. that and yeah i just feel like my skin it just feels like so much clearer as well like yeah i have come out in some spots and um, that you might be able to see but my skin does feel feel a lot healthier than what it did before and i am trying to cut down on chocolate i'm not going to say that I've, that I've cut down on chocolate at the minute but i am doing it you know it's just little by little and stuff so yeah i just thought i'd just tell you that a little bit i will tell you more in the fitness journey one um as i do that one in a couple of um couple of days go organization videos and then go back on to the fitness one and then kind of rotate them so you're getting one of my everyday thing and then you're getting the fitness one as well and then an update so um yeah but yeah my skin looks clearer i feel happier in myself not drinking coffee and i feel like a little bit more motivated and things so I'm not missing it as much as I thought I would have done. Um, I'm still a little bit tired, you know, but I, I'm kind of just blaming that on the weather and me going to bed late because I cannot sleep at the moment, you know, like as much as I like the hot weather. Yeah, I, you know, like it's too warm and you don't want to sleep or anything like that. Or So that's what I'm doing at the minute. Um, okay, so this took a whole of about 30 minutes to do, so which is really, really ridiculous. So I have got scarves and some shirts for work that don't actually fit me in there, so I do need to sort that out still. I've got my weights there that I just need to take into the next room, and some DVDs there that I do need to sort out, because I don't think I watch them all. But I do have a Blu-ray Blu player in there as well, so I might keep them and just see. Some wallpaper that I don't know if I want to get rid of it, but it's just sitting there kind of in the way. But then I'm thinking I can always use and cut it up and use the back of it, like scrap paper or something. I'll think of something because I don't really want to throw it away. The shoes, eh, I'm just going to keep there for now. And then the bag always comes in handy. I put all my stuff there. I do need to go through it all, um, but that can just be for another day. At the minute, I'm just trying to organise things and just get rid of anything that I definitely don't need. And then I can come back to it and keep organising it. Because I don't know about anybody else, but I always think organisation is just always an ongoing thing. You always get better ideas and stuff, but it is looking better. I did find the um, the last of the glasses, so I'm actually going to keep that. Going to keep them too, although I will, if my mum doesn't want this, I do need to ask her, but if she doesn't want it, I will keep it because it is good. Um, this is kind of miscellaneous. Uh, that's got like my hair straighteners in it. It's got things that I do need, but some of it can go in the other room as well, once that's sorted. And like the brush and the hair dryer that's down there and then the all the bags can just stay there because they're not getting in the way of anything the tidy ish um but they are put away so they're fine i've got all my shampoo and i've had to put my bath bombs here just because of how big this one is 
Um, so yeah, that's all there. And then it goes on to like body wash it, well, body lotions, toothpaste, and then um, body stuff. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of body stuff that I do need to start using. So I will do that. And then on the top is my cleaning caddy and a bottle of, one single bottle of toilet cleaner that I'm just gonna move over here. So it has freed up a shelf for me just so that I can, if I do want to use it for anything, I can. Um, but yeah, I just think it does look hell of a lot better. Um, a little bit more organized, but like I say, organization to me is just something that you're constantly going through and you're getting rid of things it's not something that can happen in half an hour you can just sort it out and then as you're going along throw things out but the bigger things for example the scarves i don't want to get rid of any of the scarves because they'll probably mean something to me or i've had me years but i've got an idea of what i can do with them i just need to figure out if i can do what i want to do with them the way it's like I say I can get them in the next room, I just need to sort out that room soon. The the air dryer I did buy because on in the intention of me doing my air, but I've not actually had time to do it. Or I've not done it the way that I want to and it's gonna have to be on a weekend just so that I know if it works out alright. So I think that's gonna be my mission this weekend to use. But everything else is perfectly fine. Um but yeah i'm liking it it's better and that is it for now <laughs> these organization videos will just keep on coming will just keep on coming as time goes on i'm constantly like wanting to keep things and then change my mind and things like that um so but i'm glad that i've done it though it does look so much better um the next room will be the back bedroom which is going to probably be a couple of hours worth um, to do because I'm going to have to go through each individual box to see if I actually need it or if I'm just hoarding because I do hoard sometimes, especially like notebooks, notebooks and stuff. I don't use them and then I, in the, I have the intention of using them and then I don't. So I do need to start using notebooks. I have actually got a notebook downstairs that I use um, just to like write things down that's on my mind and stuff just so that it gets out. Shopping list, you know, like it's such a random book downstairs. So yeah, I do need to start using that. So I'm just trying to organize myself this next six months. So then I can go into 2024, like completely organized. I know everything is. Everything's got a space, a place. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, next video will be out on Sunday, I think. So Saturday, I will be busy because it's Thursday today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It might be it's either it'll either be Sunday or Monday. I can never work it out. I have to just look at YouTube where it tells me how many days I've had it up for. But I'm pretty sure it'll be Sunday because it's Thursday today. So the count today is one day. Um, but because of how late it is. Um, and how late this video gets on might be Monday but it'll be definitely up either Sunday or Monday the latest I think that's everything actually so, so I will speak to you in my next video